Ready? Yeah, just a little bit like that. Oh, oh tilt. Like, yeah, like, uh, like tilt the camera. Scene 41 C, take one soft stick. Why is that? What you need to do, man, is calm the fuck down. But you know what you focus on? What? Right now. This, man. What? This shit. What am I looking at? Okay, got it, got it. <laughs> I think it's going so far today, Eddie, the shoot. It's going all right. What do you think? How do you think it's going? It's good that they're getting a lot of coverage, you know, but at the same time, it's like it just takes so long just to get one little scene. That's all movies, right? Or most movies? Yeah, this is, this is actually pretty quick. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Yeah. So I really don't know what I'm talking about. Though. No, that takes a while. So, Eddie, describe your character and uh, what part of yourself did you bring to his personality? Well, you always bring a part of yourself, you know? That's the whole fun of it. But uh, he's a bit of a sadist, dude. I'm trying to figure him out, actually, myself. He's a bit of a psycho, man. He's <laughs> He likes to control people. He gets off on controlling uh, Rico and his emotions and his stability. I guess that's sort of how how my character kind of gets his rocks off. How do you feel? I, I actually just asked him, but it's all right. I, this is much better phrased. Which do you prefer? Like you know, like bigger productions or, or really small indie productions like this? Well, I prefer the money on the big ones. I like them both, man. I, I like I like doing what I do. So. Is it like easier when there's more people, or is it like more difficult when there's more going on? It doesn't really affect me, man. How do you feel about working on a low budget film as opposed to a big budget film? Are there any benefits or, or drawbacks to you? Working on a bigger budget film. You have obviously more money, and you know, um, there's there's things that come with that. With uh, lower budget films, you know, it's hard to make them these days. You know, usually when it's like you know, kind of self-funded, and it's like you know, an independent film, it 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 there's a lot of um, you know, it, it's nice to work on something where, you know. People have put a lot of love. There's a lot of love in it. Someone really believes in this. Uh, you know, S Scott Goldberg, for instance, who's doing this. This is his his thing, man. I, uh, yesterday they had me putting on a mask and fucking weird shit, and I'm like, what the fuck is this shit, man? The one who wishes to be covered in fur, rip flesh, shed human skin. The inner wolf is ready to be released. For the one who wishes to be covered in fur, rip. Flesh, shed human skin. Rip, flesh, shed human skin. The inner wolf is ready to be released. Ah! <laughs> hey, this has got to be the weirdest movie you've ever done. <laughs> that's some weird ones, but that's probably one of the weirdest scenes I've ever done. I'm just going to go home and want to kill myself, probably. So. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, when you go home, you're like, dude, that was, why did I say that to that person? That was really embarrassing. I got to go home after that shit. <laughs> you know I mean? But you know what? I know he believes in it, and that makes me happy, man. I, I love helping in any way I can for people to make their own sort of little art, you know, and it's hard to do that. You know, it's, it's really hard to do that these days, and I, I commend anyone who has the, uh, has the balls to uh, actually go through with that, you know? Very well said, man. So, um, could you take us through your uh, process of, like, preparing for a role? It's not really intense. Really, honestly, I, I just sort of, like, you know, I don't get into character. Or any, I mean, I, I read the script, and I, I, I mull it over in my head a little bit, and, you know, I think a lot of the process is actually just being on set and, and figuring it out as you go along. I don't know if that's good to say, but, yeah, you know. I got you. Well, that's your process. Is it true that before you were found in T2, you know, at the Pestina Boys Club, that you had no interest in acting? I was at the Boys Club, and the Boys Club is like a place where there's a lot of video games and places to hang out for kids. And there's a casting director, her name was Mally Finn, and she came over and she said, um, can I talk to you? And I go, uh, I, I'm sorry, uh, I don't know, <laughs> what did I do? And she goes, I would like you to try out for Terminator 2. Well, with me with my weird memory, <laughs> she writes down my name, my address and everything, and I'm on the way home with my with my aunt and uncle, Sean and Nancy. I say, guess what? I'm gonna try it for a movie. Eddie, are you ready? And I go, ready for what? You're gonna try it for Terminator 2? I'm like, yeah, yeah! No, that's not true. I did have interest in acting. I just never 
had any connections with it. And what's weird, I mean, God, I was in junior high at the time when I did Terminator, so in my junior high yearbook, there's all my friends and different people in my yearbook wrote, you know, good luck with your acting career. This was before I ever auditioned, because when I was a kid, I always talked about how I was going to grow up and become an actor, so that's fucking weird. Or a movie maker or something. It's hilarious because when I went back to school, uh, you know, before T2, I went back to school for one day and all I went there, I didn't have to, but I just wanted to go there and be like, yo guys, I'm going to do a movie with Arnold and, and uh, you know, doing Terminator and just watch everyone think I lost my mind. And, <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, and then never show up again. I was like, you know, I'm not going to be here tomorrow. <laughs> you know? You'll never see me again. But uh, yeah, man, I don't know when I was a kid, man. I, you know, um, it, it's an example of manifestation. You you know, like, I don't know how I manifested that out of, out of my life, but no, I always loved, I, I always knew that I wanted to be an artist. So yeah, it was, it was just a stroke of luck. What made you stick with it and what, what do you get out of it that keeps you going? Um, you know what, dude, I've been doing this like my whole life and, um, at this point, it's, I mean, it's pretty much all I know how to do. I mean, fuck. I feel blessed, man, when I get to get to uh, pretty much come to work and, you know, kind of uh, storytell, you know, make movies. You know, I just think it's, um, I feel, yeah, I feel blessed to be able to do that at all. I love it. I love, I love, uh, it's therapeutic. There's so many things that keep me, keep me in it, you know? Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So you've worked with, you know, a lot of directors over the years and, you know, a lot of different, you know, personalities. Uh -huh. And so um, how would you say uh, uh, working with um, Scott uh, Goldberg is, like, compared to, you know, some of the other ones and, like... I'd say Jim Cameron because he's a real yeah. perfectionist. Who, Scott? Yeah. He seems to really know what he wants. That's something you can almost compare to Jim Cameron, you know? Mm -hmm. I always like a director that knows what they want. I might not always understand it, but at least I know if they really believe in what they're doing and they know what they want and they're prepared, then you feel a sense of safety because you you they you know they've thought this out. You know, I, I I've worked with directors that really just shouldn't be directing and have no fucking clue what they're doing. You know what I mean? And just haven't you know, I, I don't understand how they become directors because they don't have the same love for it that, you know, whatever, you know. But uh, yeah, no, I mean, um, I enjoyed I've enjoyed working with Scott. Sometimes people don't know what they're doing, but uh, yeah, no, this has been this has been pretty tight. Mm -hmm. It's been good. Mm -hmm. I've had a nice time, man. I always remember what you say about, um, like, you know, of course, it, you know, you, you did T2, and it was, you know, it's like everyone knew exactly what they were doing, of course, you know, it was giant production. But then you said you went on other productions, like, right after that, you're like, shit, this really, these people really don't know what the hell they're doing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was spoiled by T2. It's like, you know, and I, I mean, I... We need to be quiet. Doing some stunts today. How many more of those do you think you got I just told him I had one more. I started with, you know, the absolute best people. You know, like Jim Cameron, Stan Winston, and just, I mean, all these people and legends. And uh, so, yeah, after that, I was spoiled, man. You know what I mean? I, I was spoiled uh, by my first uh, film. And there's no way to match that hugeness afterwards. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so, but I mean, I was lucky. I mean, I, I got to work on, I mean, I remember my next film after that was uh, American, American Heart, Heart with yeah. Jeff Bridges. And I mean, I, what a, it was like a whole different experience, you know, and I went from this big one to this really small, independent, like, you know, um, yeah. Stay tuned to my channel for more Edward Furlong content coming very soon. I was on the set of his new movie for two days, and I shot around eight hours of footage, so a lot more Edward Furlong content coming your way. Also, the link is going to be down below for the Indiegogo campaign for this movie, and I'd recommend showing this film some support, you know, like Eddie and I talked about in this video. I was there, and I saw that everyone working on the film was just super passionate about the movie and just trying to make it the best film they, they can 
can. It's just passionate people trying to make a good film. It's as simple as that. So the link is down below if you guys want to support this film and support Eddie and support indie film. And I'm just really happy that I was even able to be involved with this even just a little bit. I'm associate producer now and I'm just very grateful to the director Scott Goldberg for letting me come out to hang out on set for a couple days and I just really appreciate it all. I got one more Edward Furlong interview coming after this and then after that it's going to be a lot of of videos uh, from the set of him making the movie and just endless amounts of behind the scenes stuff uh, that's going to be uh, several videos so uh, stay tuned for all that the link's going to be down below to my social media I'm on Instagram and Twitter Labonymous and at Snapchat at Labo with 5 A's also Facebook at Alex Laba. Also, Edward Furlong's social media is going to be down below. Well, I mean, he just has Instagram, but yeah. His Instagram is going to be in the description below at Edward Furlong Official. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.